Canadians are Florida's biggest foreign real estate buyers. We spend over two billion dollars on Florida real estate each year. And those buyers are probably thinking beaches, sun, sand, and probably not probate court. Chris Gandu is a high net worth planner at TD Wealth, and he joined me earlier to talk about U.S. vacation homes and their little probate problem. The probate issue essentially is that if the house is passing through your will, that will also needs to be probated in the U.S. jurisdiction. I'm going to pause here. Just remind us what probate is again. Sure. And probate is the legal process of validating the will, collecting the assets, paying off any debts, and finally making a distribution to the named beneficiaries. Okay. So let's go forward again then. So I, get, so I have, we go through the probate process in Canada if, if uh, I pass away in, uh, for my U.S. vacation home. But what happens in the States? How is it different? Uh, it really isn't different, apart from the fact that when you're a Canadian, the will first needs to be probated in Canada. And until the Canadian probate is obtained, you can obtain the ancillary probate in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So there is a time delay. Plus, your Canadian executor likely isn't familiar with the U.S. rules, right? There is a distance, so they can't really be traveling back and forth freely. So all of this adds complexities in terms of time and cost. Is there a way to avoid U.S. probate? Is there a way to put something in place ahead of time so you don't have to go through it? Yeah, the easiest way to avoid probate is to make sure that asset doesn't pass through your will. So for instance, owning a house jointly with a right of survivorship will avoid probate, but what you do need to watch out for is that you don't, by doing that, trigger a U.S. estate tax, death tax issue. Hmm. And, and how do you decide which, which is the lesser of two evils financially, I guess, when you're going through this in terms of probate versus this estate tax? Yeah, you definitely do need to talk to your tax advisor. Generally, U.S. death tax should be worse, <clears throat> but this year there's a very generous exemption, Kim. It's uh, 5.49 million in U.S. dollars is exemption. What that means for Canadians is that if your overall estate is worth less than that, doesn't matter how you do the math or how much you own in the U.S., you won't have a death tax payable. Hmm. Right? So 5.49 is what 7 million Canadian. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice big exemption for a Absolutely. lot of people. Um, for some, though, who are in that upper uh, bracket, it may make sense, actually, to, to still go through U.S. probate if they have to go through that. Absolutely. So tell us a bit um, about it. I mean, you said that, um, you know, they don't know the rules, but it's also in some states. Let's talk about Florida first. What mm -hmm. happens? How much does it cost and what do you have to go through? Yeah, Florida is a little bit unique. Uh, the first thing is to be an executor in Florida, you have to be a spouse, a blood relative, or a resident of Florida. So let's take an example where you're the surviving spouse living in Canada, right? And perhaps you name your accountant or your lawyer as an executor. Well, they're not related to you. They're not your spouse, right? So they won't qualify to be an executor in Florida. Nice. Now you need to find a personal representative there, pay them some money to act on your behalf, right? Uh, the other thing is for all the court work and the filing that's required, you'll need to hire a lawyer to do that work, right? And Florida has uh, legislated fees for that. And a typical fee starts off at 3% of the first million dollars. So there is a bit of a cost. There is a cost. Yeah. Um, and it's not the same in every state, though. What about, I know, a popular destination for Canadians, Arizona. What's it like there? Yeah, most Calgarians love Arizona. And <laughs> Arizona probate is comparatively simple, right? You do have to advertise for creditors in the newspaper, right? So there's a bit of a delay. But the probate fees and the process is much faster and simpler than Florida. So if I'm watching right now and I'm hearing, you know, a lot of fees, lawyers, things I need to be thinking about. Um, and so what should I be doing today if I own a U.S. vacation home? I think the decision you need to make is, do I own the home to avoid or reduce U.S. estate tax, or is probate my principal concern? If probate is your primary concern, then perhaps you should consider changing the ownership to make it joint with rights of survivorship. By doing that, what's happening is that property will not go through your will, and it will avoid probate because it will go to the joint surviving owner. And how, what, anything I should think about that's different if, in terms of getting ready to buy a property in the States right now? Uh, absolutely. If you, if you haven't bought yet, it's even easier because now you can structure the ownership correctly to begin with. It could be owned personally by you, jointly, or perhaps even by an entity such as a Canadian Trust. Right? And there's one other thing that I should point out, uh, which is that if you do own the property personally, now you want to put it in joint names, you have to potentially worry about Canadian tax implications and U.S. gift tax implications. On the Canadian side, it should be fairly straightforward. If it's your spouse that you're putting on title, there's a spousal rollover, no tax, you're fine. Yeah. You're fine. On the U.S., the U.S. has this gift tax um, issue because now we are Canadians dealing with tangible U.S. property, which means Although we're not U.S. citizens or residents, we're still subject to U.S. gift tax. But there's ways to deal with that. Talk to your tax advisor.
That was Chris Gandu, High Net Worth Planner with TD Wealth. And I know what you're thinking. I need to watch that again. I thought that uh, is something that was confusing. Because it is a bit confusing, but I promise you, after I talked to him a few times, I did understand it. Go to moneytalkgo.com. You're going to find that interview, again, on uh, high net worth uh, planning in terms of uh, uh, properties in the states and how to make sure you pass them on properly. Um, you can find that, plus a whole bunch of other stuff uh, on the website. And that's the website right there, moneytalkgo.com.